I like this comment. A dog named Brutus. Freeman could be a great coach. The trick is hiring the right people for your program. And I agree with that. I agree. Um, you know, one of the things that I really love about Marcus Freeman is that he's brought in guys that he trusts that, you know, share are like minded, I guess you could say, that share in his philosophies. Um, and so um Freeman's brought in guys that I really like. I really like Chancey Stuckey. Um, you know, I really like that he kept Tommy Reese. Um and you could go on down the list, you know, as I sit here live on a, on a, on a show right now, you know, I, I can't name their whole, <laughs> the whole uh, coaching staff off the top of my head, but you know, in, in general, I think this is a coaching staff that at the, at the position, um, Dylan McCullough, I love as well at the, at the running backs coach. Um, Freeman has surrounded himself by good guys. Al Golden, another head coach. I think that's perfect for, for Freeman for defensive coordinator, because, um, you know, it's nice when Freeman's got that headset on to, um, you know, be able to listen to another head coach in the, he in the headset. Um, all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead then. Uh, and obviously, you know, this is, I, I, I don't know how I omitted this, but happy that Harry, he stand is back. Absolutely. You know, anytime you can get the best, um, Offensive line coach, probably in the country, probably, you know, in, you know, maybe even in, um, maybe even when you put college football and NFL football together, Harry Heastan might be one of the better offensive line coaches. We'll see. Um, so, 